Okay, here's the first 200 yard target. I put 18 shots on it. Uh, and you can see that I am impacting a bit to the left. I drifted that front sight to correct a right point of impact last evening. I'm going to put it back to centered and I think it'll be just about right on the money. Um, I started out holding right center and that's when I got these. The first two shots actually were these two. And then I, uh, I just kept that same hold and I started to get this batch in here. So I adjusted my hold and I started to bring it to the right and I ended up holding right about here, very close to that area. This shot here, I know for a fact, I did not have the sight centered in the rear peep. It has a rather large rear peep, so you have to really keep that pointy front sight centered in there. When I started paying more attention to that, that's when I started to shoot here. Um, the extra concentration of trying to hold here rather than hold on the middle did help me keep the sights aligned in the, you know, in the uh, elevation mode. I think this one down here I probably messed up too, but the rifle, if you hold center, it seems like it's shooting right about here at 200 yards. The others were all ones where I made corrections. The good thing is, is that it was responding to my corrections. When I was over here and I saw these printing and I started to hold right, it came back and uh, that's good. So I have confidence in the load. I think a lot of what we're seeing here is me. Um, I said I was gonna shoot 12 because that's what we shoot at the course of fire at this match. But, um, you know, I'm gonna have to uh, get home and get some food and take a break. I've been shooting better part of this afternoon and the bugs are starting to get a little heavy. So I'm pretty confident that this thing's gonna print just fine. I'll get down there in time to maybe um, shoot some practice rounds if I can. Uh, see what the wind is doing down there or what the sight picture is, how different it is. It will not be this kind of a target. They typically shoot a shoot and see target and uh, they don't score it, you know, traditional scoring. They score the middle and 11 and 10 and you know, by the time you get out to about here, you're already down to a five on their target and they only shoot about an 11 or a 12 inch, 13 inch target. So, you know, for context, this is a, this is a um, 13 inch center, the nine inch ring on these 200 yard targets that this is a repair center, SRC 200 yard repair center. You know, the, the nine ring on these is a 13. The way they typically shoot at this shoot that I go to, these here would not score at all. Those would, those would be ones you'd have to throw away. So I know what I did on these two here. Um, I know that the hold is going to be off to the right. I will drift that sight back to the center. It's interesting how the different powders make such a difference. Um, H380 has shot a little bit to the left right from the beginning. 4350 shot further to the right. Um, so it's uh, interesting how that changes so much. But I'm going to go ahead and run with this initial load. Um, you know, the doggone thing did the same thing right out of the gate when I was concentrating good on my hold. I got these two shots right here as the first two shots. And then this one up here was the third, and I know what I did. I just didn't have the uh, the pointy part of that front sight in the middle of that rear um, peep. I need to be very disciplined about that and make sure that I've got everything centered up. But I can see it real well. That's the good thing. I can see the front sight. Uh, it's real sharp and crisp. So I think I'm going to do okay. So I'm going to run this load tomorrow down there at the chute if the weather holds and if work uh, doesn't get me too much, I do have the on-call telephone this weekend. So, um, you know, that's obviously the priority. So we'll see how it goes. Uh, we'll get this, get home and get some more uh, ammo loaded. What I ended up doing on this, this was uh, brass that I'd already fired once in the rifle. So it was fire formed. And then I uh, sized the neck with the Lee loader, you know, the whack-a-mole. So um, I do sometimes use, uh, on some of the other loads, I did use the... Uh, the Lee collet die that's for the 303 British. It will work if you put a spacer about an eighth of an inch under it to compress the collet because the shoulder is a little bit, the, the uh, distance from the head to the shoulder is a little bit longer on the 7.7 Japanese. So I did make that work, but I, I uh, when I threw the dies in the car this morning, I, this, uh, I guess it was early this afternoon, I forgot to bring that spacer. So I didn't have that. So I ended up using the Lee loader to size the neck. And then Jeff, the mailman, showed up just as I was leaving for the range with my delivery from Titan Reloading that had my 7.7 Japanese dies in it. So I uh, did have a 7.7 Japanese seating die to use. And uh, so that's what I seated these bullets with. So on the little, uh, it's a Lee uh, value turret press that's in the back of the van is how I seated them. So anyway, that's uh, what we got going here. I ended up going back to that starting load of uh, H380. Um, printed that really nice group at 100 yards, moved back and 
I think that uh, if I do my part and keep those sights lined up, I think it's going to work fine. The elevation is going to be good as long as I keep the sights lined up. And like I say, right now the hold is about right here to get these in the X. So um, you know, it's taking about a three o'clock hold. So if I drift that sight back to the center, it's probably going to be just about right on the money because there there really isn't any crosswind here today. If anything, it's right down the range towards the benches. So I'm going to wrap it up for this evening. Uh, go home, get some food, and uh, load some ammo for tomorrow, and it'll be another day, and we'll see how the rifle behaves itself tomorrow. Uh, I'm not going to do anything to it except for run a dry patch through it. Uh, the bore looks fine, so we'll uh, just leave it as is, and I'll uh, let everybody know how the match goes after I'm done, and I'll talk to everyone later.